none of us needs an invitation to remember those we've loved. During their life, through the time they had with us, they've become part of our lives. And now, although they're no longer with us, we continue to feel connected with them. We will never forget them, how could we? They're part of us. Remembering is our way of keeping strong the connections we've made with the person who has died. Taking time to pause and think about them and the times we shared together, the fun times, the difficult times, the tender times and the healing times helps us to sustain the bonds that we've made with them. So an occasion like the under our wing display is offered as an invitation to join with others who want to pause and mark the memory of a person or persons who have been loved but who are no longer with us. In this video, we'll meet Nick, whose wife Catherine was cared for by the hospice in 2020. We'll hear Nick share some of his story about how he was supported by the hospice community nurses to care for Catherine at home, even as they were dealing with the added difficulties of managing her care during the pandemic. Before we hear from Nick, here is a poem that has been specially written for this event. It's called Under Our Wing and it's read for us by members of staff from across the hospice team. Under our wing. Your promise, lending strength that when we face as yet unknown those fears that steal the breath of hope. That cloud the sun with dark forbidding skies. That strain the compass of our love. When wearied by uncertainty. Above the noise of pain we'll know the reassuring press of words that penetrate the depth of night. And give your warrant of embrace. Under our wing. Under our wing, in tribute planted silent doves that wind and wheel in frozen time, that quietly display the thanks that's due for your sustaining care, which by another name is love. Our thanks for care that lifted hope above despair that threatened to engulf, returning peace to anxious thought and generously and graciously your promise bring to mind. Under our wing. Under our wing. Under our wing. Under our wing. I met Catherine um, when I was um, a chef at Unilever and um, part of their sort of get to know you, they used to have uh, boat rides, they'd have um, up and down the Thames and um, it was, you know, free tickets and I, I guess possibly uh, drinks as well but never was a problem for me I didn't drink and nor did my wife and um, we were I was sitting quite close to her but um, I was too shy to ask her so one of my friends who was another chef said to me why don't you go and ask her for a dance I said no she wouldn't and uh, so he went across and said to her I think you ought to go and dance with my mate <laughs> And that's how it started. Um, 45 years, wonderful time. Um, we were very lucky. Our first contact with the Princess Alice was 
When we left um, the care of the Will Marsden, we had to find, um, try and understand what was happening. Um, we knew that it was stage four and that cancer was only ever going to get worse and sadly she was going to die. And we'd heard about the Princess Alice, that it was a very beautiful place. And so it turned out to be. We were very lucky. We were blessed that we found it. And it's been wonderful. Under their wing. Yes, we were so lucky. We were given the health care for Catherine and the bereavement help from myself afterwards. Um, I can't thank everyone enough. From, from uh, uh, Steve, the um, chaplain, to Sally, and all the other members of the bereavement team that made it possible. Because it was COVID, um, a lot of the time I couldn't leave house. And so um, we were lucky enough to be able to be on a, a Zoom calls. And that was marvellous. And um, they didn't stop by saying, you know, your, your, your wife has died, you know, that's it. Um, we stopped the care. It carried on. And that has just been so wonderful. And it's it meant that I've been able to go to the, to the man shed. Um, I do walks in Kew Gardens with the uh, bereavement teams. And the, the aftercare is just, well, it's, I'm, I think they're all wonderful people. If we hadn't had the help that we've all received as a family, we would be totally lost. Yes, we would, you cope somehow, but having the, the love and care and attention that we've received is, is just, you can't put a price on it. I bought three. Um, I wanted to give one to each of the children and uh, then so that their family can treasure them. They've got somewhere in the garden they can choose and hopefully, I know, um, I thought we'd probably buy a lot of daffodils or something and have a, a little section and I've got two roses and um, one's our silver rose and one's our ruby rose and I want to put that with with mine and I, I, I guess that, that I'll leave the children to choose where they are put but it's a wonderful idea it's something that we can um, stand alone or just be with and feel that you're giving something, you're enjoying something that I know Catherine would have enjoyed. Regarding the money, um, yes, um, I hope it's going to continue what has been a fantastic amazing adventure as far as I'm concerned it regarding um, letting me be a part of it joining the man shed um, understanding um, just part of what this great organization is achieving from bereavement to um, some kind of understanding of what's happened you've lost somebody and then suddenly you found that um, you're alone, but you're not alone. I've been lucky enough to have made great friends from the wonderful bereavement teams. And everyone, when I go to Q, um, I've learnt to uh, be part of a team there. Um, they're all, they've all got their sadness and they're trying to get by and trying to understand what has happened and yes the money we'll raise will be something I hope will continue that it's wonderful 
it's so good and for the people that are left behind yes they need as much help as possibly the person that needed the help originally in the first place. If you're thinking of um, wanting to help, to give some support, um, I can't think of, a, of anything nicer than being able to dedicate to your loved one a dove in whatever form and having that something special that you can put in your garden, something that you can stand by and think about your loved one, some kind of um, memento or memorial or just something that will help your um, support for someone and for, for the Princess Alice that will give so much, not just to your partner that you've lost but to the bereavement that you are going through and the help that you would need. Yes, it's important. Please give as much as you can. Thank you. The doves will be on display for a period of time in our beautiful hospice garden before they return to families or friends to display in their own garden or home. We are grateful to everyone who has kindly supported the Under Our Wing appeal. The money you so generously donate will enable us to ensure that our compassionate care continues to, to support people like Nick and Catherine, along with hundreds of other local people who live across the large parts of Surrey, South West London and Middlesex that the hospice serves. Thank you.